Hey friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. So in today's video, I tried something different. So I used dual foams and acrylic powder together. So this is something that you don't see often. So let's see how I did it. But before I start, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to turn on the notifications. So now let's start with the video. As you can see on the screen, I have already uh, completed the dry manicure because I had some products on. So I removed it and I also completed the dry manicure. In case if you don't know how to to do dry manicure check out any other video or the pin videos on my channel and you will see all the steps included there and now i'm starting with my dehydrator and primer application so now uh, here is where i'm going to show you the different way of doing uh, uh, like free edge sculpting or a creation so normally what we do we use a nail foam or a plastic tip to attach to our nails and then we lay the product over that right but here uh, uh, we are what we are doing is just the way we do polygel extensions using dual forms uh, instead of poly gel or builder gel i'm using clear acrylic here okay so as you can see i picked up a bead i placed it and then uh, using my brush i am just moving it around and i'm making sure my product is getting into all the corners of the dual forms okay so now everybody might have this question because I, acrylic is something that air dries right so here it's okay even if it's dries a little bit or even if it's dries completely that's totally fine because it's not going to affect us in any way okay so uh, one thing you have to be very careful with this type of dual foam is you have to make sure the product has a uniform thickness it's not it should not be like too thick or too thin so just make sure you have product everywhere and uh, also if you see what i did with this tip was it has this was this is like a full cover dual foam okay so i cut half of the apex area and the cuticle area of the tip and i'm using it as a uh, like a plastic tip but uh, instead of attaching to the nails uh, i'm filling it with acrylic and then it will work as a dual foam okay so here now i have uh, applied the acrylic all over the tip i made sure the thickness and everything is uniform here and now to attach this dual foam to the nails i picked up a bead and i made sure that that is also like kind of blended uh, to the sides and uh, the thickness also now this area the product is wet rest of the area even if it's like kind of dried it's totally fine because this is where we need the uh, uncured product okay so now i placed it just make sure that you are keeping it like really straight and uh, since acrylic is air dry we have to hold it for like at least uh, 25 to 30 seconds here okay and once this is done use an orange wood stick and scoop out the excess that came out of your uh, you know nail bed underneath the side so i forgot to add that clip into this uh, you know video in fact i forgot to actually record it after this uh, the acrylic is completely cured just like how you remove it from the polygel uh, extension uh, situation similarly you can just pop it off like that okay so now you see the shape of this particular uh, dual foam this has this is called a resin almond um, so now uh, we are going to do the next part of it so basically here we created the free edge using the dual form now i am going to do a reverse french technique here so this uh, nail design is inspired by a russian artist um, and i leave her instagram link in the description box and also if you wish to see this tutorial in the hindi language then please check out my uh, hindi tutorial on the hindi channel uh, so now coming back uh, again using an acrylic powder from the brand called tnt uh, it's a pinkish acrylic powder so uh, uh, just doing the reverse uh, uh, French technique here so I just uh, left that bead there and using the brush to kind of create a pointy kind of almond uh, after doing it I, I realized that I should have gone for like a little bit more uh, towards the free edge with the French uh, smile line but anyways um, this was like a first time attempt uh, to do a, a nail uh, like kind of a Russian nail this and you guys know that uh, how amazing the Russian technicians are this is nothing compared to what they do uh, but I wanted to give it a try because until you try it, you will never know how much you can push yourself, right? So this is like a kind of a first step for me. So now we just kind of completed the smile line creation. And once you have the smile line, you can just go ahead and build the apex and the cuticle area using the same product.
so now we have kind of completed the uh, product application here now we have left with a beautiful smile line so now use the hand file to kind of like fine tune your smile line so here i'm using a 180 grit hand file uh, and if you see this hand file is like really thin uh, so that i can get into the edges without any trouble if you use the uh, normal one then it will be a little difficult to like kind of get into the corners uh, unless you have like really heightened uh, smile line created okay so this is how it looks after the uh, smile line uh, smile line filing so now after doing that um, so this was kind of a different different like design so what we what i was planning to do in fact what i did was like kind of a wave creation uh, on two fingers and the rest of the fingers are like a bunch of colors smushed together okay so unfortunately the wave creation part was very uh, difficult to record so i couldn't include that part in the video but i'm sure i will be doing that again uh, because now i know like more about how to do it uh, so that tutorial will come on a uh, i mean either i'll do it on a practice finger or uh, on uh, on someone or a, a hand model or something because it's very difficult to like uh, keep on doing and acrylic was more challenging to create that it's not that it's difficult but it was challenging to do uh, but anyways i tried it i'll show you the final result but right now uh, you can just see how i created this uh, you know color blend uh, here uh, so after doing the color blend with the gel polishes uh, again i'm using the clear acrylic to kind of encapsulate it uh, uh, again this particular design the original creator used acrylic or poly gel to create which is more easy because both are gel component uh, so it's easy to like kind of uh, build it and poly gel you know that is one of the easiest products to work with but acrylic is challenging because this is was this was actually a collaboration uh, trial with one of my uh, nail besties uh, which is honey candy you can check out her page also if you wanted to see how she created she used builder gel to do the same i did it with acrylic because my primary love is acrylic so it's kind of like a collaboration plus something that was too uh, advanced uh, for for me but yeah like i said we have to push ourselves so this was like kind of a first attempt so after doing this you can just do filing shaping and after the filing and shaping this is how it looked so you can see my uh, middle finger and the ring finger for the waves and this is how we created but this is nothing like uh, the final finish is nothing but i wanted to share this with you so that you all can see how we you know grow in our own like sculpting nail extensions uh, uh, that i wanted to show you so with that this video is ending here and uh, thank you for watching this video and if you like uh, this kind of content please subscribe to my channel and also uh, if you have suggestions recommendation please drop it in the comment section i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay happy thank you for watching